In today's session, we are going to talk about a new enhancement that Zoho released to their blueprints, and that will be the multiple transitions. In the previous lesson, we talked about parallel transitions, which is a bit different. And today we'll talk about multiple transitions. Let's talk about the business scenario. Let's assume that leads coming into my company. I will try to call them. I will try to send them text message, send them an email, maybe Facebook message. I will try whatever I can to con communicate with them so I can proceed with the sales process. Some people will answer your emails. Some people will answer your text messages. Some people will answer your phone calls. We like to capture the way that people are answering. Basically, we are trying to capture the best way to communicate with them. And every person will be different. Now, let's assume that the lead comes in in this specific blueprint. And uh, by the way, all this lesson will be for people that know what is a blueprint. If you don't know, you can refer back to my courses or learn it online. But you do need to know blueprint for this specific session. Let's assume that in the old days or before the new enhancement, you wanted to go from a new lead to contact it. Basically, the person is on the phone with you or in email or in SMS, and you want to proceed with the lead. You will need to click on contact it and select the communication method. In the new enhancement, it allows you to have, instead of just one transition between the two states, you can have one will be contacted by phone, as an example. And we can drag another transition. And that's really the addition. You couldn't do it before by, let's say, text message. And another one will be, let's say, contacted by an email. Now, let's republish and let's create a new lead so we can see how it goes. Okay, so we have a new lead and let's assume that I was able, I tried to call the person, he did not answer me. I will not click obviously on contacted by phone because he did not respond. I will try to send a text message or maybe automated text message. And then he responds back. Whenever he responds back, I can have an automation that will select contacted by text message and automatically assign it as the preferred communication method. Or if you want to do it manually, you can also click on contacted by text message. And now the system knows that that was the preferred communication method. And obviously it will proceed with the blueprint. Now, you can also have different type of automations based on the after. So in the blueprint, you can set a field update for the after, and that will be, let's say, communication method will be an email in this case, okay? So that's uh, really the new enhancement that Zo added. I think it's a, it will have lots of functionality whenever you try to move from one state to another using different options, contacting using different communication methods, uh, proceeding with a deal. Some deals will be, you need to send a, a NDA and then proposal and then multiple steps and then close one. And in some of them, the person already have a master agreement with the company. You already have some things in the system. You don't need to go through all those steps. So you go, just have some kind of a bypass and you can, you can make things much faster. Okay, so I think it's an awesome addition. Every time that Zoe thinks about us and releasing more editions, it's awesome. So thank you, Zoe. Guys, thank you very much for watching this session. If you like it, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this session. I will see you in the next one.